Well, we have the next contestant for the Talking Bee competition brought to you by Masti Time Radio. So, what is your name? Manaswini. Manaswini. And what are you going to speak today? Um, I'm going to speak about plants have feelings too. Plants have feelings too. What a wonderful topic and what a wonderful age to talk about it too. So, all the very best. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mendes Finney. I am 10 years old and I am studying in Imagine International Academy of North Texas. I chose the topic Plants Have Feelings too, as the topic intrigues me quite a lot. In my research, I have found that many scientists have tried to study Plants Have Feelings too in the past, but there is no concrete proof or evidence plants can actually feel pain, just like how we humans and our animals can do, the main reason being plants do not have a nervous system to feel anything. Having said that, it does not mean we can do whatever we want to do with plants. They're obviously not things. They do have a life, and they breathe. A plant can respond to stimuli, for example, by turning towards light or closing an aura fly. It gives us no right whatsoever to hurt plants, as they are our main source of oxygen and energy. Without oxygen, human race can become extinct. Too much deforestation is already depriving in our generation and future generations of beautiful flora and fauna. Plants have a life too. We all know that, but we don't do it because we just sometimes people be lazy to even water their plants. We all have a common purpose of saving and protecting our mother earth and plants have a very big part in our world. What will you feel like if you have a party and your garden is just grass? There's no flowers and it looks like a desert. And no one will feel attracted to it. So, in summary, I urge you all to treat plants with respect and let us all live harmonious, harmoniously in this beautiful planet. Thank you. That was a very incredible uh, learning for me too, so congratulations. Thank you. And uh, wish you all the very best. Thank you.